All right, T.I., listen up. Um, this, this might just be a throwaway video, but I want to throw this video up, and I want to have it up immediately while I'm actually experiencing it right now, okay? So you guys can understand. Because I, I I've been getting in the comments, or I get some people who watch my content, which I'm pretty sure they're just like, well, I'm, I'm not even going to say it. But some people seem like this kind of just don't get it, right? You know, I talk about numbers in my program as far as <clears throat> in the gang stalking situation here that I'm going through. And, it, and it, the easiest thing for me to show you guys is these number coordinations, how they do the, the light flashings, the, the numbers with the tags and things of that nature, right? It's very easy to show that to you guys. It's, it's visual. Now, what I need some of you to understand who might not quite get it, okay? That is just a visual representation of the harassment takedown program. That's not the whole, that's not all I'm, that's not just my gang stalking right there. Sorry if I'm loud, I got my Bluetooth in. Let me let me lower my tone, but I, I'm a I am a little frustrated by dealing with what I'm dealing with. I'm going to explain to you what's happening. But once again, the numbers. This is going to be a prime example. These numbers are just a visual representation as a reminder of the program and how intense it is. That's all. That's all that is. That's the, probably the smallest part of the program are the number coordinations. Okay. So for those of you like somebody said something about me being hypnotized by the numbers, I think you might. Well, yeah, so that's just that's not clearly if you have if you're watching my channel I'm not hypnotized by anything here. I'm just trying to show people. I'm teaching people what's going on Now, let me give you an example of what's happening right now. This is what gang stalking is. Okay So all the spiritual and all the all that kind of stuff right now is out the window Let me let me give you guys exactly what this is about now You know, I'm tr I've been trying to get a vehicle through uh, Hertz. All right. I'm trying to uh, run a vehicle basically about $400 a week and you just uh you can work uh with Uber and whatever you know all these different things and make money okay so that's cool I've been trying to do it now I've been trying to get a vehicle from these people for three months now where I've been kind of inquiring but I wasn't really too serious about it just calling here and there because I do have I have employment but I'm trying to supplement my income here, right? Trying to move ahead, right? I no longer want to do the van life thing or whatever, you know, do that, you know, whatever. I'm trying to change my life and move up a different level, right? So I can progress and move on. All right. Now, let me explain to you how the gang stalking program is designed to covertly and secretly stop you from being able to progress and move on and make it look as if you are choosing to be in certain situations that you find yourself in or it, or the problems that you fall that fall upon you are are just created based upon bad decision making on your own okay i'm going to give you a good example here of how the gang stalking program fights you hard tooth and nail and once you do try to make efforts to change your life and level up your life uh and you know make uh, another income or different things of that nature what they do to keep slamming you to the ground and this is the thing that the general public doesn't see. They just see the results and see you struggling and going through difficult times. So I've been trying to get a vehicle through this through this uh, rental agency now uh, for several months. So I knew that right now, around this time, I would be ready to go ahead and pull the trigger and do it. I have the money. I'm ready to go do it, right? So, and on top of that, my car is just kind of wore... I, I wore my car down over the years using it for Avis. I mean, for... Um, uber and uh you know all of these different ride share and food delivery so i just my car has had enough of that so i'm gonna still do it but i'm gonna rent right they have a program for that so i've been calling every single day with my phone number and calling my local location right which i'm pretty sure it's already been sabotaged by law enforcement the local gang stalking program the fbi whoever i'm pretty sure somebody has stepped in and said look we at all costs whatever we need to do we need to make sure that this person, this target individual right here, does not have access to a vehicle. A nice, clean, brand new, legal, everything insured, everything fine vehicle to go work and make money, right? That, so <clears throat> this is this 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 is this is what we got going on. Hear me, hear me out. So they would prefer that I do what I've been doing for the past year. I just I work in the local area. They have complete control of me, right? I work in this area. They they send whoever they want to send in and out the job to do any kind of gang stalking they want to do. Um, whatever kind of energy they can bring, they can flood the place with people when they want to. Mob the locations that I work. 
They can have uh, nobody come in at all. Um, and I believe they've even hacked into the uh, CCTV security cameras and they watch me on the cameras as I work and they coordinate a lot of things once, I, once I'm in and out of the businesses. Basically what, I'm, basically what I'm trying to say is they just have complete control as if I'm just some kind of uh, like toy for them to play around with in the local area with, with the police and the local um, authorities. And we, you, get, you get what I'm saying? This is the municipality and the local gang stalkers around the area. They're perfectly fine as long as they can control what money flow you have coming in. They're, they're able to control where you're going, what you're doing, who you're seeing, who you're interacting with. I acquiesced to that to an extent uh, for the past uh, six months to uh, almost a year. I just said, let me just go ahead and dig in, save money and just work. I'm going to stay in this local area. They're going to gang stalk. They're going to time coordinate everything. They're going to do all this dumb shit. They're going to have cars in front of me. They're going to do all the gang stalking activity, do noise campaigns, everything you see when I'm going live and in these videos that I show you guys, right? So hear me out. What they've done, I've called this location. All I, I, think I started calling Friday. I had a reservation Friday. Ready to go pick up the car. Oh, we don't have anything for you. Okay, well, let me just speak to the supervisor. I'm trying to set something up. Oh, he's on lunch right now. Okay, I'll call back a little later. Oh, he's talking to a customer. He can't come to the phone right now. Oh, he's just a little too busy. On, he's on a computer doing some work. He just wouldn't totally disrespect me. Just won't come to the phone. I don't know these guys. I've never been there. I have never done business there. But they have been already alerted of, of my existence and me potentially coming there to do business in order to run a vehicle you know, not even this for personal usage. This is through a program that they have with uh, Lyft or whatever to, uh, you know, rent and go work or whatever the case may be. I'm just trying to do this as a side hustle on top of my job to try to move ahead, guys, right? I want to get an apartment. I want to move on. I want to start to progress. I want to start a business. All of these different things that I'm trying to do. But this is how the program holds you down. So they're making sure that now either they can now they have multiple ways obviously they can do it they can either have the place flooded with perps right they go take all the vehicles or call the phone flood the phone lines up make sure my cars won't get through they also can drop my phone calls they continuously jam my phone up make me not be able to make calls or get incoming calls all of these extremes is what they start to go to once you get your things in order and you start to try to progress I said here, I put everything in order. I got all my paperwork, everything I need. I kept myself legal and eligible to be able to work and be able to just go ahead and rent this vehicle. I have the money. I work hard every day. I have the money on deck, but it's nothing at all that's stopping me right now. I should, I, and everybody that I speak to that, 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 that does the same exact thing, they have no problems. They have these cars and they've been holding them for a year. You get what I'm saying? You just pay it. As long as you pay the car, you're good. Everything is covered. People do this on a regular basis. When my car was breaking down and all that, you know, over the past few months and I was riding these Ubers and Lyfts and they're giving me the rundown. It's no problem. It's very easy. But me as a targeted individual, I've been calling, I've been calling Lyft, Uber, uh, uh, Hertz, all these different locations and I can't get a vehicle for nothing. They won't, and in, 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 in a branch in my local area, the only branch that I'm going to today, they won't answer the phone at all. Usually they will at least answer the phone and say, no, nah, we, we don't have anything. They won't even answer the phone at all. I've called almost 200 times. I've been calling since this morning. And once they finally answer the phone, know what they're going to do? Because my reservation is set for three o'clock. What they're going to do is say, oh, when they finally answer the phone, oh, we don't have any vehicles anymore. Because they probably have them all morning and they're just giving them out. Hurry, the, the, the gang talking program, I'm pretty sure, incentivize them to do this. Um, and, you know, again, FBI, Homeland Security, local law enforcement, when they come in flashing their badges around and they're telling these people to do these different things, you know, as a as their partnership with InfraGuard, you get what I'm saying? How they work with the FBI and all, all of this is supposed to be like counterterrorism and crime. So they designate us on that list, guys, so they can do this legal discrimination against us. And they don't have, they don't have to say anything. Just play around with you. Put you on hold for long periods of time come back to the phone when 27 is on the clock this is me trying to do business this is me trying to make a living this is me not trying to be out here scamming the system robbing stealing begging no that we, see the thing is guys and i do work but th th they want this to be the way they want it to be they want me to work where they feel comfortable with me working they can go in a the job they can they can tear it up they've been doing this a lot lately go in there tear up the store 
you know, tear shit up, try to tear the bathroom up, try to make me have to go in, clean the bathroom up unnecessarily, like stuff that you just trying to make you, it's like, it's like they, they're using the program guys purposely to try to push people into a lower class or try to keep you into a lower class or into like a lower existence in life. That's the idea here. They, they're, this is purposely, this is like, it's a lot of this is classism, not even just racism, classism. But they want to keep certain people pushed down into a certain level of life under their thumb where they're flailing around trying to survive and, and everything is at their will, whatever they decide to do. Like say say your license is not correct or whatever the case may be and, they just, and the program knows that and they decide to let you flow for a while. As long as you're behaving and doing what they decide that they want you to do and you're, and you're doing the right thing, they'll let you rock. But they want to have something over you. So once you do legitimize yourself and you get all your stuff in order and you want to do good, clean business on an up and up where you're not looking for any any kind of favor or anything of that nature from anyone, they don't want that shit. They want to be under control and have something to hold over you and threaten you. And they will pull out all the stops, guys. They will pull out all these different, like right now, I've been calling this company, this business all morning. They won't answer the phone one time. And then once I do call, I mean, once they do pick up, my reservation is about an hour from now. I guarantee you they're going to probably pull the same play. And what this does is it wastes, it holds time, wastes time. So the money that I have sitting here ready to do this, I'm going to have to start dipping into to do other things because this money is for an investment. This money is to invest in this vehicle so I can use the vehicle to create more income. Do you understand? Also freedom. But again, with the vehicle that I have, I don't feel as good riding it around and, and, and making money and doing different things with it. So I'm a little more relegated to just saying, all right, let me just work this job. And, um, you know, that's one less income revenue. But I still have the, the liability and expenses of this vehicle, but it's not making me money. That's the way they use to, you know, this is the kind of stuff. A lot of people want to talk to you about angels and demons and V2K. There's no V2K involved in this, guys. There's no spirits. There's none. Of, there's nothing magical. There's none. None of that weird stuff, guys. This is straight up community mobbing, proactive policing programs, things of that nature. Um, Infraguard. All of these. Uh, all of these uh, agencies working in secret and working in silence and, and, and using lies and discriminatory behavior that's been legalized by this program to keep somebody pushed down to a, a, a lower second class citizen level that they can control and they can take away and give whatever they want to do and when you do anything that's going to bring and then what i'm trying to do here also like mind you i've been working the job for about a year it's still under someone's control someone owns that place so like for instance there's something that i've been wanting to have done at this particular uh job that is not being done for me and that's because of the program it's something that you know that i'm not going to go into detail but the perps are able to come into the job is there there's something that's being left there, there is a opening being left for perps to come in and do their abusive behavior towards a target individual on this job. And I've spoken about it, but there's not really been a lot of, you know, uh, concern for trying to rectify that to kind of make me feel a little more comfortable to be able to do my job properly, which is cool. That's the right. It's not it's not even it's not even a big deal. But what I'm saying is that's just a little example of that's the level of control that you don't have that the program prefers. Now, if you say, well, I'm gonna, you know, I'll, I'll do Uber, I'll do Lyft, I'll do uh, uh, food deliveries, I'll do some others, you know, whatever. I'll do, I, you, can, you can run your own business. You can do things if you do have a vehicle that's that's pretty pretty much for commercial usage with commercial uh, insurance. You're, you're your own entity, you're working. They don't want that in this program. They want the control. And I've given that up a lot of that over the past several months, almost to a year, in order to achieve where I am right now. And this is where the program inserts itself to stop you from moving forward. This is what gang stalking is, people. You understand what I'm saying? This is what it's about. It's not just about numbers and being hypnotized and all that goofy shit. It's not about that. It's about a life takedown, controlling your life, being able to destroy give and take at their will and their whim and they don't really have a reason to do it as if like you were a felon and they can deny you of things as a convicted felon legally 
but it, somebody in my position in this program, everything that they're doing to me has to be in secret because they don't really have any real legal basis to discriminate against me other than some secret FISA court bullshit lie that they made up that if the general public knew that they were doing, they would be outraged. So that's why it's such a secret. And that's why they operate in secret. And that's why you guys should never, ever feel um, um, shy about speaking up and exposing exactly what they're doing to you. Because otherwise, it'll just be done in secret until you're dead. Peace.